Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Apex Legends Season 20 dropped recently. A lot of you guys might be facing FPS drops, input latency, so in this video I'm going to be fixing all of that, so make sure to watch it till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential windows settings and for that you have to open up settings on your PC. Once you are over here, you have to go down all the way to the gaming section, open up game bar and make sure to turn your game bar off. Turning this thing off will help you to reduce the running processes in the background that will help you to get better performance in the game. After that, go back to gaming, go to game mode and then over here make sure that your game mode is turned on. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background that will give you better performance. Right beneath that you'll find graphic settings. Simply open this thing up and over here click on change default graphic settings. In the default graphic settings, first thing that you'll find is the variable refresh rate. You have to turn this thing off. Then optimization for windowed games, simply turn this thing on. Then you have to go back to graphics and over here you'll find a list of all of the installed apps and games on your PC. You have to click on the browse button and add Apex Legends into this list from the downloading location. I've already done it so once it's added simply click on options and then select high performance then simply click on save. Once it is done close your settings. Now let's move to step number two that is de-animating your windows. It is really important. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here click on adjust for best performance. Click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Both of them will help you to keep your windows look intact and with that said you have to go to the advanced section and right over here you'll find processor scheduling click on programs then for virtual memory click on change select custom size and deselect automatically manage paging and over here set your initial size to 1361 a little above 1 gb then for the maximum size you have to open up your calculator and your system information so simply search for system information on your pc then look up for your installed physical memory for me it is 32 gb GB. So you have to multiply 32 with 1024 that is 1 GB and you'll get your memory size in megabytes. You have to simply divide this thing by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size without the commas. Once it is done simply click on OK and that's how you set your virtual memory that will also help you to boost your in-game FPS. Once it is done simply click on apply. Well before moving ahead I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. And now let's move to the next step that is system configuration and for that you have to search for system configuration on your PC. Then over here you have to click on the boot section, click on advanced option, click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. This will ensure that each and every core is utilized while booting your PC and it is also beneficial for gaming in the long run. Simply click on OK. Next you have to go over to the services section, click on hide all Microsoft services and over here you have to deselect all of the Adobe, browser update services, fan control services, RGB services such as Brave, VPN, then your scanner service, Google service, you have to turn all of them off and once it is done simply click on apply. Next step is defragging your disk and in case of SSD you have to trim it. For that you have to search for defrag and optimize drives and right over here select your local disk C that is your main drive on which your windows is. If it is solid state drive you have to simply click on optimize and it will start trimming your SSD which will improve the performance of your SSD. In case this is a hard disk drive such as this one simply click on analyze and it will start analyzing and then you have to click on optimize to start defragmenting your hard disk drive. Make sure that your schedule optimization is turned on so that it is automatically done every day when Whenever you boot up your PC and this will help you to keep your games and your drives running 
healthy. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues in Apex Legends using Noping. Noping is a VPN software that will help you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers that will help you to eliminate all kinds of lags, latency and so much more. You can simply go to the link in the description below and download this for free. And the application itself should look like this. Right over here you have to search for a game and it offers you a ton of game to choose from. I'll search for Apex Legends right over here and as soon as I click on select the server it will ask you to pick the nearest server to you. For me the nearest server will be Mumbai that is closer to me and it shows me the lowest ping that is 58 milliseconds. Once it is done simply click on optimize this game and it will start optimizing your game in just one click. The best part about no ping is the settings gear right over here which will help you to enable turbo games that will improve your input latency and the FPS boost section. Click on boost FPS and copy the exact same settings to improve your windows performance and get better FPS in the game. I highly recommend you guys to use no ping since it really helps me out to fix all of my internet issues and input latency in just one click. Go check out no ping from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you have to simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Look for your local disk C right over here then simply click on create and name it Apex just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore your PC without any data loss you can do it. Next step is the Apex Legends season 20 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. The FPS pack is pretty simple to use. It has a ton of files that will help you to improve your system's performance by changing the registry and running some command prompts. Don't worry this is completely safe and you can put it to virus total to check the legitimacy. First thing over here is the CPU priority and in here I have left Intel and AMD CPU priority. Now you have to identify which CPU that you are using. I am currently using an AMD CPU so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. Second folder is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries for you to choose from. Over here I have 32 GB RAM so I need to choose the 32 GB RAM registry. It could be different for you so you can choose from the presets I have given over here. However if you want to reset these values you can always click on reset to default for resetting back the values. Third folder is the Apex Legends optimization in which I have left the GPU and Apex Legends high priority. Make sure to run both of them since it will set your GPU affinity to the higher level and it will also optimize the priority that your PC gives to the Apex Legends. Next folder is the Windows important tweaks in which I have left a ton of optimizations but this is completely optional if you guys want to do them you can for better performance. This will disable unnecessary services, background applications, downloading maps, disable transparency and so much more right over here which will help you to fix your windows performance and once again if you don't like it you can always go to revert registries and revert all of them back to normal. Last one is the programs and cleanup in which I have left clean temporary files dot bat. This helps you to clean up your cache files. Right click on it and run as administrator and it will clean all of your temporary files on the PC. Next is the MSI utility 3.0. You have to run this as administrator. Over here you have to find your display driver or your graphic card. For me it is right over here so you have to click on the MSI button and then for undefined set this thing to high and simply click on apply. This will set your GPU affinity to the higher level which will optimize your GPU for gaming. Once you're done close the FPS pack and now let's move to the best settings. Okay now let's come to the best settings for Apex Legends. Press your escape key and then go over to settings. Right over here go to the video settings and then for display mode select full screen aspect ratio should be your native aspect ratio and the resolution should be your native monitor resolution. Brightness should be according to your monitor, FOV should be 110, FOV ability scaling go with enable, sprint view shake go with minimal, VSync should be turned off, adaptive resolution FPS target keep it 0, anti-aliasing none, texture streaming budget you have to go with very low or low both of them will work fine but if you have a super low end PC go with none. For texture filtering go with bilinear, ambient occlusion quality this is really really important put this thing to disabled. For sun shadow coverage and detail go with low, spot shadow detail go with low. Volumetric lightning should be turned off as this is a massive GPU consuming process. Dynamic spot shadows keep it enabled. Model detail, effect detail, impact mark keep it low and disabled as well as the ragdolls. Once it's done press your escape key and now you are good to play Apex Legends with the best settings possible on your PC. So guys that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have make sure to do leave a like and smash it subscribe button. It really helps me out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.